Our next speaker is Danette Lewis, and his speech is entitled, A Portfolio's Best Friend. Please help me welcome Danette, A Portfolio's Best Friend. You owe it to yourself to learn this secret. I'm sure you've heard a diamond is a girl's best friend, but it should be a diamond is a portfolio's best friend. I want to tell you how I first got interested in diamonds. As a kid, I loved graphite because it could be used to make carbon fiber to build bicycles. Well, I got curious and I wanted to learn about diamonds, which are also made of carbon. Diamonds are carbon in its finest structure, its most advanced. For the chemist out there, a diamond has the perfect chemical bond, the shared electron bond. It's the hardest substance that nature's been able to produce. It's formed in the worst conditions. In fact, let me tell you a little about the history of diamonds because it's so fascinating. The more you learn about diamonds, the more interesting they become. They're actually old, not just old, but incredibly ancient, profoundly ancient. Diamonds are older than the earth. They're older than the moon. They're older than the sun. In fact, it's believed, and this was just proven or confirmed in 1987 by astronomers, they saw in the distance an exploding star called a supernova. And in that, using spectro a spectrometer to analyze the light, they could distinguish diamonds. It turns out that when a star explodes, part of that carbon that was in there came out in the winds of the exploding sun and created diamonds. Well, a few billion years ago, Earth did not have the atmosphere to protect meteorites from hitting it. And it's believed that some of these meteorites contained little bits of diamonds which were able to survive crashing into the Earth a few billion years ago getting buried down in what's now called the Diamond Stability Zone, which lies 100 miles below the Earth's surface. Coming up to the Earth under spectacular conditions where every single thing has to go perfectly right for them to survive the trip, riding through a volcano, to eventually come these wonderful gems that people wear. At the core of those gems could be something that is 10 billion years old. At the very minimum, you're at least having something a billion years old. A diamond is forever, is not just a brilliant marketing line, but something that has solid truth, is one of the most stable things in the universe. Amazing substances. So I want to tell you about some of the rarest diamonds are colored diamonds. And particularly, I'm fascinated with pink diamonds that come from Australia. I love Australia. Pink diamonds come from the Kimberley region of Australia. And it's not known for sure where they get their pink color. It's thought to be a slight defect in the diamond structure that gives it a pink color. Now, pink diamonds are extraordinarily rare. Diamonds come in different colors, and most of the colors are extraordinarily rare. Yellows, blues, pink, red. You may have seen them on some of Hollywood celebrities. Holly Berry got the orange diamond famous. Paris Hilton got the pinks famous. J-Lo got yellows. And the Titanic had the blue diamond. But diamonds have appreciated in price, especially the rare colored diamonds, the natural colored diamonds, have done remarkably well. Pink diamonds in the last nine years have gone up 360%. According to Sullivan's, according to Fox, Bloomberg, and CNBC, diamonds have averaged 10 to 15% a year since record, rare, excuse me, rare colored diamonds 
have averaged 10 to 15 percent a year since record keeping began in the 1970s. Now going along with that, I was checking my mail the other day and lo and behold, I got this advertisement in my mail which says forget gold and silver stocks, forget gas stocks, it says there's only one natural resource to look at and it's diamonds. Diamonds, as this advertisement points out, the supply is decreasing and the demand is growing. And that's more true with colored diamonds than any other diamonds. In fact, the supply of diamonds is growing at a mere 2% and that's of all diamonds, while the demand is growing at at least 7% a year. Welcome our friends in China and India. Historically, the Chinese would get married with jade and they would have some gold and a little bit of jade. Well, recently they've gotten into diamonds. Our friends in India are also getting married more and commonly with diamonds these days. The world, the demand for diamonds is increasing. Now, diamonds as an investment are extraordinarily rare and unique. They offer some very unique properties. They're portable, the most concentrated form of wealth that there is, far more concentrated than gold. So they're portable, extraordinarily rare, beautiful. They offer privacy. They offer uniqueness. And they're something tangible. You can't take your annuity or mutual fund to a cocktail party, but you can certainly bring a diamond along with you. You really owe it to yourself to learn more about this unique, rare, tangible, beautiful asset that the more you read, the more you learn, the more you research, the more fascinating they become. Thank you, that was amazing. I'm a yellow diamond girl myself, but that is just amazing. So is there any chance that diamonds will like run out at some point or how do you actually get into that? They're actually harder? shutting the mines down in Australia in a couple of years. So uh -huh. pink diamonds are going to go from extremely rare to even more rare. Oh my goodness. So there's going to be a shortage, especially of the finer uh, rare colored diamonds. Wow. Well, that is good to know. I have to run out and buy a few. How about Absolutely. that? Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dennett. Wonderful. Speech. Is your portfolio underperforming? It's time you looked into the growing trend of rare colored diamonds. According to Sotheby's Diamonds, rare colored diamonds have appreciated at about 10 to 15 percent per year since record keeping began in the mid 1970s. Demand is rising as the world's middle classes grow. Announcers and reporters on Bloomberg, Fox Business News, CNBC and others are talking about the growing trend of rare colored diamonds. If you're looking for a non-correlated inflation hedge product that offers privacy, performance, portability, stored wealth, legacy transfer, and long-term growth, then you owe it to yourself to get more information on this rare asset builder. Call Dennett Lewis today, your local authorized diamond consultant. That's 650-485-1563. That's 650-485-1563. Rare colored diamonds are on fire. Call Dennett Lewis today for more information at 650-485-1563. That's 650-485-1563. According to Sotheby's Diamonds, rare colored diamonds have averaged a 10 to 15 percent annual appreciation for the past 40 years. Is your portfolio underperforming? Rare colored diamonds give you performance, privacy, and physical possession with long-term growth. Get all the information you need right now. Email info at coloreddiamonds411.com. That's info at coloreddiamonds411.com. Brought to you by Dennett Lewis, your local authorized diamond consultant.